I know, I know. I said I'm not going to do any episodes from Best Comedy, but I can't resist. It just in the blood. I think I'm addicted to it. <laughs> but anyway. Here we go. Today is the first day. It's uh, around nine, nine-ish o'clock, and I have to go to uh, put the stamps on my canvases, meet the guys and the artists, and then we're gonna do scouting. Around six o'clock, I think we have a, a party, welcome party, uh, with uh, collectors, patrons, uh, donors, and artists. Um, and then tomorrow is the first day of painting. What is interesting about this competition, um, they put every day, they put a schedule actually for every day, uh, every day. So one day we're painting on, there is a selection of four farms and we have to paint on one of those farms. Uh, another day we're painting in another four farms, in another county kind of, I think. Uh, I have to figure out, this is my first, first time here, so I have to figure out everything. And then um, uh, Thursday, so um, today is Monday, we're just stamping, scouting. Tuesday, one set of farms. Wednesday, another set of farms. Thursday, another set of farms and something else. And then Friday, I think we have to deliver some paintings um, or we can paint in the morning. I have to check the schedule. And then Saturday, I think, will be exhibition, collector's party and exhibition and, and so on. I'm planning on leaving, staying for another two days, just paint around because it's just beautiful here. And uh, I'm gonna go back uh, back home on I think Saturday night or Monday morning. We'll see. So, Bass County Plain Air Competition. This will be the last this year, and then we'll go back to studio and do a lot of tutorials, demos, and educational stuff. So, you ready? Let's get started. Well, we are at the gallery, and the gallery is right there. And the whole town is a small, very small town. Uh, and it's spread it on you know on the hills of mountains you can see right there right behind me uh, beautiful place so I just stamped the uh, canvases uh, met with you know fellow artists and everybody took off to paint uh, until six o'clock six o'clock we have a welcome party so um, beautiful place um, I actually found one spot to paint right there um, I like this a lot Please meet with Lash Christine Lashley. Christine Lashley. I'm sorry, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> hey now, see, I yeah, I know. I'm, 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 you know, we're watching her and uh, Scott Christensen on, on your Beyond um, the Easels. Yeah, Beyond yeah. the Easels, and yeah. I just adore your work and uh, especially his work. I took his, you know, several uh, workshops. With oh, him. did you? Yes, okay. and then we we decided to one day we're gonna go fly fishing, but uh -huh. with all this COVID, that's just. So anyway. <laughs> Please meet with um, Christine. Christine. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> now chill. you're just joking. <laughs> so we just met Christine Lashley, <laughs> Chill, and other. There is many other good painters, uh, and um, everybody's taking off to paint. So I'm gonna hop in my car right now and go paint. So let's hit the road. Oh, this is a good example of uh, painting unprepared. So I just jumped too fast on this um, scenery and as a result I just shave everything. So it, it's not going the right way. So instead of spending time and fuzzing and buzzing with painting that I don't feel is going as a strong composition, as strong colors, I just better just you know scrape it and start over, move to another location and just keep going. So. This is my strong recommendation and as you see I just scrape everything, I clean everything and I'm moving to another location. I need to find something that will speak to me. So this was like first warm-up I would say, um, so I'm not really upset. It just warm up, I just moved the you know, brush uh, on my canvas and paint and uh, everything. So now let's go find something, um, something to paint, all right. <laughs> oh, today is day number two. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't shoot. <laughs> Uh, the um, footage of day one to the end because I was really frustrated with with the uh, scenery I couldn't find anything I finally found some it was at like six o'clock and I need to paint uh, and the light was going down so sorry 
Now today is a day two. We have to go to uh, four farms. It's like 40 minutes away uh, from the main station and um, uh, we have to paint in one, then move to next, the next to the next. So uh, this is the plan for today. And then I have to go back to the farm where, the, where I started yesterday and finish the painting because I'm kind of behind behind the schedule big time. And also I just, I just pull over, look at this, look at this scenery. Is it gorgeous? So I'm gonna probably sketch right now and maybe even start something uh, because I just love this and move to um, keep going to the farm and I'll show you the footage from the farm. Now this side of the town is completely different. Look at this view, look, view right there, river. So I'm excited today. Um, so let me drive, let me find something to, to paint. I have to, I have to start at least two paintings today. So um, I have no time. But I will shoot some some footage. So let's uh, find something here and uh, get started. And this is Christine Lashley. I'm sneaking behind her back so she can. <laughs> Beautiful. This is mighty Neil. <laughs> what? How are you, Neil? Good. How's it going? Great. How are you doing? Good. Very good. Today is Thursday, uh, day number four. Um, I'm still struggling and uh, struggling a lot. I'm not sure why. And this is a good, actually, good, uh, you know, example, <laughs> if I may say. Uh, not every event is is the same. Some events you feel great and you, know, you paint and everything is working just great. And another event just, you know, you're just down then before you go up, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, today is uh, Thursday. I'm, I'm planning to paint, uh, to start two painting and finish uh, one painting. And I'm gonna show you right here. I have um, so far, my work so far. I have another one inside. It's a big one, 18 by 24, which I'm planning to work on this today. I'm not gonna even show you because it's just under painting. And I'm planning to start another three, another three paintings to, to finish. And uh, today we have kind of, um, I cannot paint whole day because from one to two, we have what they call coffee and talk. Uh, we have four artists, including me. I'm not sure why they included me in this coffee and talk. Uh, we have Cla uh, Christine Lashley, Bill, forgot his last name, Tara Will, me and somebody else. Um, I'm not sure why, but I will basically one hour will be of the schedule. So I don't kind of I appreciate them including me in this kind of show, but uh, you know, one hour is out of schedule. That's this is not what I like, especially when I'm not performing as I should. Okay, so let me show you the, the paintings. And again, this is not the finals. I may change some, some I'm just looking right now at the light, daylight and um, there's some stuff that I have to change, definitely. Um, so, but let me show you. Okay, so this is six painting that I did and I have another one inside the house. Uh, this is a cabin, uh, low cabin that I did. I'm completely not satisfied with, you know, the shapes and uh, uh, this is a little gem, I kind of like it. Um, clouds and it's okay uh, this is the river uh, and again just too much of brush um, it's okay but uh, here's another barn I don't like this part so I have to maybe put it like maybe turn it to more bluish color and darker here and just define some um, and the tree change the tree um, because tree is not working as well. Uh, this one is kind of a satisfied, except it's just too too much purple. I have to you know, put a little bit more blue, uh, a little bit more blue to it. And this I was painting yesterday. Um, there is some work I need to, I need to I need to do. Oops, and I just smashed that with something. Right, anyway, and another one is inside 18 by 24, big one, and 
I will be struggling probably today to <laughs> to finish it. Um, I'm not sure, you know, maybe barns, uh, not my thing to paint. Um, I like open, like more open fields, like mountains, uh, you know, trees, forest, shapes, uh, or just city, cityscapes. So. All right, anyway, um, I will try to keep you posted. I did some recording yesterday, forgot that my mic was not working. It's like, you know what, I want, uh, always something. But anyway, I will try my best to keep you posted to what's going on. All right, see you next time. Uh, we are at dairy farm and as you can see it's a it's a dairy farm but this place is very interesting because this place was purchased by preserve some company and they converted to airbnb and just you know point of interest uh, so I'm gonna go inside. I have to go inside there. There will be um, coffee and talk. So I already met with some people. They're interesting to hear what art is it going to say. I'm not go I'm not sure what I'm going to say because I'm just brain dead. I'm not having good week. <laughs> but you know, I promise so I have to do it. Um, so let's go inside and see what it's all about. So this is inside. Uh, and talk will be somewhere there. I'm not sure where. Oh, maybe here. I doubt it. But anyway, let's see. Let's check it out. And uh, I'm firmly convinced that there's also a memory part of that, of that equation. And in fact, I think memory is probably more important. You're looking at the answer this way, but because you're seeing this line, now you're actually looking at the floor, so you're looking at two different perspectives at the same time. Today is the last day. Um, we actually here's the gallery right behind me, and everybody's right here <laughs> dropping the paint, paintings. I just dropped my six paintings. Um, they will be uh, hanging them t tonight, and at six o'clock they will have we will have the collection. I mean the ex awards and uh, collectors parties and and sales and everything. Uh, so let's go, I will show you inside the gallery and how that works and then uh, maybe I'll shoot another video later on. So let's go. So this is the gallery in a beautiful town, small town village I would say. Alright, so let's go inside, I'll show you. Hey, how are you? site so um, we have we just pull the numbers of the wall that so this is a room where my painting will be hanging and this is my work and I'll show you later on um, when everything is all on the wall so this is my spot this is another artist spot uh, this is Lon Brower uh, he will be right here um, another one so let's go to another room. Check another room. So Jackie, I think we're done. Is there anything else? Um, I can check the bar for you. Now, anything else? Just a bed. That's all. That's Alison Menke. Uh, this is Bass Bass. So all these paintings will be hung 
today. And this is Alison Menke. Beautiful work. Um, not sure who this is. Yeah, I know. I've heard. You know Greg Summers. You know Greg Summers? Probably if he were standing there. Congratulations. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay, guys, this is over. The Bass County Plain Air com in a competition is over. Today is a Sunday. Uh, I just went to a gallery and um, checked all the work. The Barbara, who is running actually this show, who did amazing work, amazing, um, you know, uh, competition, amazing work actually, <laughs> to say, uh, uh, event. Uh, she did a good, really good job, so I have to give her credit. And um, she decided to give. I sold several pieces and four pieces left, and she decided to keep all the four pieces to for another to end of the year uh, for exhibition to to sell. So it's it's good. Um, I got third place, um, so it's it's good. <laughs> it's rewarding, encouraging. Um, 
but as you know I don't pay to you know get reward uh, you know awards but uh, just to participate uh, and you know my participation was awarded with you know or rewarded basically rewarded with the third place uh, by Don White which is a very established uh, old schooler painter so it's kind of honor uh, to be judged by her all right so this is all for today this is all for this event um, I'm gonna come here uh, since I'm a winner uh, one of the winners uh, we allow to you know participate next year without even uh, going through the selection so we invite it automatically so it's great so I'll come back here to paint next year but I'll, I'm planning actually to um, come here for another week and just scout because to be honest I was I was struggling with locations and what to paint and how to I didn't feel the place and you need to feel the place you need to f go you know live through it uh, so I'm gonna plan I'm actually planning to come back for another week to stay here and do scouting sketches just to get familiar with the place for the next year um, that's it I'm gonna do you know my wife is actually at the church uh, I'm not in the church and unfortunately but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a you know not a demo I'm gonna do a painting uh, of this place right it's just simple uh, simple scenery this is house uh, where we were staying host house I'm gonna do quick sketch you know just impressionistic style uh, painting just to chill uh, and get ready for the trip all right this is the uh, right here see the beam of light and the house and all this basically this <laughs> have to do it this part uh, we're not gonna do actually like you know doing the things the house the trees or something we're gonna paint shapes uh, I'm gonna do more impressionistic style. It's just the feeling of this place, because um, I understand this. I was in living here for or live here for five days, or six days, or seven days. So I'm gonna do just the shapes, uh, main lines, main the contrast, and um, just work with the shapes and the light, the colors.
so this is six by eight and what we're gonna do we I'm not going to actually look at the scenery uh, I'm gonna look at my 12 by 12 that we just did as my <laughs> study work it's kind of I mean awkward uh, but it will work uh, so right now we're gonna concentrate only on shapes the main shapes and uh, um, just the shapes and values and maybe colors um, so let's mm -hmm. Let's do another one. Um, let me show you something that I uh, sometimes I do. So let's uh, let's take this out. And yes, don't be afraid to scrape everything when you're done. I mean, if you look at the. This is the amount of oil we just scraped. Maybe, I don't know, five cents <laughs> of a dollar. So don't be afraid to, you know, get experience. So what I'm gonna do right now is um, something a little bit different than you will see. So right now I'm going to use my palette knife and just do everything with the palette knife. Okay, I love the palette knife because it's I can do much faster and uh, let's erase this. Okay, this. Then we will do. Now I'm just trying to use everything that I have on my palette because I have to clean it anyway. Now this will be the shadow part. This will be our sky. And I'm not going to let that be really going to scrape this yes okay now let's get some of this stuff now let's do our roof highlighted roof and highlighted roof will be Like this, or 
is the shadow. This is in the shadow. Now the whole building is in the shadow. Something like this. And then let's do our highlight on the ground. And the highlights on the ground will be right here. We have highlights right here. Now let's now let's clean it. The forest is always vertical. Okay? So you have to maybe sometimes but always vertical. Alright, so this is uh, how to use a you know palette knife uh, and paint. Uh, of course, it's not you know uh, something like I, I don't like this part to be honest. I like this how it came. So if I'm next time I'm painting with a brush, I'm gonna use probably these shapes, which is occasionally uh, just accidentally, semi accidentally <laughs> appear on the, on the canvas. Uh, but in general, the how it's you know how it's feels. Does it feel that you know this can be a good painting uh, if you enlarge it, or maybe not? Um, and you can do this literally. Um, I don't know, maybe four or five a day if you decided. Okay, today I'm painting. Today is my study or study day work or study work day. Um, and you know you can do. You know I, I I'm looking right now on this scene right in front of me beautiful and I'm thinking I can scrape this right now and uh, you know s you know squeeze some more paint and paint this and see with some bell palette knife uh, if it's working not not working and yes you can do it with some you know big brush something like this 
you know, <clears throat> six by eight, and this is number 10 brush. It's a big brush for this, and you can do the same. Mix it and just put the same way uh, brush strokes with, you know, loaded paint, and it will be, it will be impasta, uh, you know, with a belt knife or with a big brush. You're not gonna save paint, and try and don't try to save paint, okay? If you want to learn and learn fast, and you know, fast enough, you have to invest into you know, paint. Just you know, get I don't know, five hundred dollars, you know, and tell tell yourself, can I invest five hundred dollars and get all the tubes that I need? And just these tubes are for studies only, right? I think if you invest five hundred dollars, and in five hundred dollars you can buy a lot of tubes of paint. And if you can invest five hundred dollars just for study, trust me, you will go to you know to the next level of, of your paintings. I guarantee you. Uh, the, uh, I see a lot of students um, using just a squeeze, just a, you know, small portion, like a small dot, and trying to. You can I cannot feel it. I mean, it, 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 there's no way you can <laughs> you'd be economical with paint and learn oil painting or you know acrylic painting or any painting you have to invest into material or canvases or now canvases they last because you know what you can do you can just you know scrape it scrape it and that's the, and you know what let's let's uh let me put this pile of paint that i just used and see how much this for per one paint interesting As I said, you have to you have to invest in in oil. Canvases, you know, you can always spray. Sorry. So let's take all this paint right here that I just scraped. Now this is a cost right here. If you can see it, yeah, this is good. Okay, so this is just one scoop of palette knife of paint. This literally, maybe I don't know, combination of maybe five cents per six by eight painting study. Is that worth of investing five cents of oil to for studies? Absolutely. All right. So if this is a five cents five painting, how much? Twenty five cents? Really? So all this you know, mystery or this is mentality of oh I you know I have to be careful because I cannot you know oil paint costs money even if you buy most expensive uh, oil brand right most expensive let's say ten ten cents five paintings so it's fifty cents really. All right, you got my point. So um, this is it. So just scrape. And what you can do normally, what I do instead of painting on this, I will basically will try to wipe it to make sure oops, to make sure the extra oil is gone you know, from the canvas. So you can put another. You can start another painting. Brush brush it or palette knife it really doesn't matter because your canvas is basically it's not dry it's still wet but what you can do what else you can do invest another two cents dip into your medium number two just move this paint around and what it does it will wet it, let it sit for, let it sit for, you know, five minutes and it's going to dry because you're outside. It's going to dry and you can start, you know, not messing, lifting the colors and you can start another draw, another uh, scenery, another study. So I hope you will enjoy it. If you have any questions, please um, send me what do you think. And uh, also, uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe.
uh, a lot of video videos are coming with demos like teaching I like teaching so you can ask me any questions you want subscribe is um, probably most important just to follow and you know uh, I, so I can share my knowledge <laughs> with you and if you already subscribe uh, you know thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for subscribing and following me and giving me support I'll see you next time Here we go!